Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope to see you today at 2.15 because we are going to be taking a quiz today. However, if you are not able to make it to class, I will be giving you the code to the quiz momentarily. Actually, at the end of this video, so you have to watch the whole thing. All right, here we go. So today, obviously, we're going to take a quiz. I strongly suggest that you take a few minutes before you take the quiz to work with the Quizlet, which of course can help you get ready. Um, so we're clicking on the current week and we're going all the way to Friday. Now you can see I have two quizzes posted. You've been assigned a specific, uh, you've been assigned a specific quiz. So if you click on one and it doesn't work for you, that means you're taking the other quiz. I'm not sure, I haven't fixed how to do that so you only see the one that's assigned to you. But there's two versions of my quiz. There's like an A and a B version. So you're gonna click on one and it should take you right to the quiz. If it does not do this for you, then you need to click on the second one, okay? All right, the access code you're gonna type in right here and I'm gonna give that to you at the end of this video just to keep your attention. Um, all right, so that's the quiz. That's the first thing we're gonna do in class. And then the second thing we're gonna do in class is we're actually going to work on looking at several conditions that are possibilities for McKenna. So we're gonna click eliminate possible conditions. Now I want you to keep something in mind that a doctor, so it says here, Use all the evidence we've gathered so far, interview, doctor's notes, endoscopy, graham cracker data, functions of healthy digestive system and model. <gasps> yes, you do have all that information readily available to you. I will show you right now where that is. Right here at the beginning where it says overview. We can review, there's McKenna's interview, the doctor's note, case study, all of the stuff. All right, graham cracker analysis questions key, all of the things that you would need to look at for your evidence for this next step that you're doing. All right, all the evidence we've gathered so far to help you eliminate two possible conditions. Remember that doctors eliminate conditions rather than fitting symptoms to a diagnosis, okay? So we have to be prepared to eliminate some of those possibilities that's what a doctor does. They end up with a long list and they make that a shorter list and a shorter list until they're down to the thing that is left that must be it. Um, and so you will be doing that today. I want you to eliminate at least two. Now, if you eliminate more and you want to continue working on it, you can, all right? Here is the possible conditions. Dun, dun, dun. And I would suggest going through this. You can do your own research online if you want to also. We put this little table together for you to help you out. So your task. McKenna's doctors have brainstormed six possible conditions that might account for McKenna's symptoms. Eliminate conditions based on all of the evidence you have gathered so far in this unit. Read the information in the following slides which outline the different conditions that doctors felt could explain McKenna's symptoms, okay? Use all of the evidence we've gathered so far to help you. Okay, so don't just use the doctor note. Don't just use the graham cracker data. I want you to use all of that evidence and find pieces of evidence in different places. All right, so here's the first one. Ew, ugh, peptic, peptic ulcer disease, okay? And I've got three or four columns for you. One with a picture of an endoscopy because we did have that as some evidence to look at. Um, the symptoms, the causes of those symptoms, and then what the overall condition is, okay? So as you go through these and read through these, I want you to be thinking about McKenna's symptoms, what her endoscopy looked like, what the cause could possibly be, because we've kind of narrowed that down as far as where in her digestive system we're looking. These are all, all six of these are what we call GI gastrointestinal conditions. So they're all types of conditions that happen within the digestive system. Okay, so that's the first one. There's another one, this one's really gross too. And, oh, I'll 
Did I skip one? No, I guess not. Okay, here's the next one, diverticul diverticulitis or diverticula. Um, this, is what it, this is what it looks like. This is what, and for this, this happens to be a picture of the large intestine. Um, there's the disease itself, what the symptoms are. So you want to go back and look through this. This is the next one. This is the third one. This one is called celiac disease. There's the symptoms. Here's the causes of those symptoms. So reading through that, you kind of have to read between the lines, okay? All right. Here is the next one. This is IBS for short, irritable bowel syndrome. Again, another picture of large intestine, symptoms, causes, etc. And I think this is the last one, colitis. No, there's one more. Colitis, uh, these are the symptoms. These are the causes. This is what it looks like in the, in the uh, where the problem is in the endoscopy and then what the condition is itself. And this is the last one, Crohn's disease. And Crohn's disease is in the small intestine. This is what the um, symptoms are, etc. Okay? So you have this PowerPoint or this, uh, these Google Slides to look through. You can, like I said, do your own research also. And then I need you to work with this table. So this is for Friday, which is today. And it's a real simple table that I have set up for you that I want you to fill in with words. So I've circled this. This is the example. So this one, gastric ulcers, which was, I think, the first one on the, on the I think these are in order of the, of the uh, slides. Yes, looks like it is. So here, this is the type of thing I'm looking for. So basic symptoms, okay? Then evidence, tests, data results, et cetera, that this condition could not be what is causing McKenna's symptoms, okay? So things that might argue against this being it. And then why does this not support being McKenna's diagnosis, okay? So if you think you know which one it is, I wouldn't pick that one to write about, but I want you to read through all of these diseases or conditions and figure out, pick out at least two that could be eliminated from our list. And then what evidence do we still need to look at for the, for, for the remaining diagnoses, okay? What other things do we need to look at in order to eliminate them as possibilities? All right. So does that make sense? I hope it does. If it doesn't, then definitely come to class and I will hopefully explain it even better by then. Um, so you guys are all wondering, what is the code? What is the code for the quiz? The code for the quiz is... Dun, dun, dun. Code for the quiz is B, oh, let me show access code, B, of course. Good, and go, and be good, and have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday if I don't see you at class today. Bye.